Is your brain receptive to seeing optical illusions? Well, today you're going to find out. Here are the top 15 mind-blowing optical illusions and strange visual phenomena. Number 15. Lilac Chaser The Lilac Chaser optical illusion is used to show how the brain automatically tries to fill in missing information and can give you a widely different view of what's happening in the world than reality. Made up of 12 lilac circles, each one disappears and reappears in sequence. If you focus on the center of the screen, you may at first get the sensation that this gap is actually moving around the circle, but soon it'll develop from being an empty void into being a green circle that's replacing the lilac ones. Of course, there's no green circle, and there are actually three phenomena at work here. The first is known as the phi phenomenon, when you appear to see motion when there isn't any. The second is the appearance of the green circle, which happens because the brain creates an after image of the lilac circles when they disappear. And the third is the way that for most people, if you look at it for 20 or 30 seconds, all of the lilac circles will disappear altogether, and all that's left is the moving green one, something that's known as color adaptation, or the Pac-Man effect because it begins to look like the green circle is eating the others. Number 14. Illusory Motion Take a look at these colored circles, and what do you see? Most people who see an image like this will describe the patterns rotating. But this isn't an animation. This is a static picture. What's happening is an effect called illusory motion, whereby the contrast and the colors are tricking your brain into thinking they're moving when they aren't. There are a number of different ways that this effect can be demonstrated, and it's all to do with the viewer's perspective. The classic example is seeing what you think is the sky falling, but is, in fact, the level of the ocean rising during a high tide. But because you only have two colors to base your reference off, your brain often makes the wrong conclusion. We actually see illusory motion around us more often than you may think. Fluorescent billboards often make use of it to give the impression that the advert is animated when, instead, all that's happening is the pixels are being switched on or off to create a color disparity. The most common of all, though, is when we're watching a movie. This is called apparent motion and occurs when static images are presented in such a quick succession that it appears as if something is moving, when in fact, all we're watching is an advanced slideshow. Number 13. The Ames Room the Ames Room is a clever optical illusion effect that was first created by an American scientist called Adelbert Ames in 1946. In the original design, an observer would look into the room through a peephole where they would see what appeared to be an ordinary room. Things got strange, though, when an actor walked from one side to the other and suddenly became giant, almost as if they'd eaten a treat from Alice in Wonderland. The science behind this illusion is simple once you know how it's done. The room isn't a normal room at all and instead of being rectangular, is instead a six-sided convex polyhedron. The surfaces, too, are irregular quadrilaterals, meaning that one side of the room is much further away from the observer than the other. The actor, instead of walking a straight line across the room, is walking diagonally along the back wall. So when they seem huge, they're in the part of the room that's much closer and shorter, while when they seem smaller, they've walked further away into the part of the room that's much taller. Number 12. The Balls in a Circle Illusion this is the balls in a circle illusion. And to begin with, you probably won't even realize that you're looking at an optical illusion at all. There's a large blue circle, and inside it are a series of white circles that themselves are rotating inside the larger circle in a circular pattern. Or are they? Take a closer look at what's happening, and you might just figure it out for yourself. Do you notice anything unusual about the smaller white circles? Instead of rotating around, they're actually just bisecting the blue circle in a straight line and are moving back and forth. Their timing has been offset with one another to create the appearance of a rolling circle, but the animation required to do this is actually much simpler than it would be otherwise. This is a simple version of an effect that's often used in even the biggest of Hollywood animated movies, where the combination of a series of basic movements work together to appear far more complicated. Number 11. Stepping Feet This illusion is known as the Stepping Feet Illusion, and it's an example of how the brain will sometimes struggle to analyze all of the information that it's being presented with and creates movements that aren't actually there. On a black and white striped background, the two feet, one blue and one red, appear to be moving across the screen in a jagged motion. The problem is, if the striped background is removed, you can see the actual movement of the feet, and they are both sliding across the screen at a constant rate. So why do we see the step motion with the background? The answer lies in the contrast of the colors of the buses with the stripes. 
When the red foot is on mainly white stripes, the contrast is very high, which makes it seem as if it's moving faster than its actual speed. When it's against mainly black stripes, the contrast is low, so it appears as if it's moving slower. The effect of the blue foot is happening in the opposite way, and results in it looking as if both represent steps being taken across the floor. This is another technique that's often used in cinema, particularly in animations, where the background contrast is used to simulate far more motion than is truly taking place. Number 10. The Strawberry Cake Strawberries are one of the most popular fruits around the world, and we all know that they are bright red in color, and a delicious sweet treat. The problem, however, is that because you're so used to seeing what you expect to see, that if you see something different, your brain might decide to show you how it should be, instead of how it really is. A process that's known as color constancy, and is usually vital for us to be able to recognize things in varying light conditions. It's the reason why your blue jeans still look blue whether you're outdoors in sunlight or indoors under fluorescent light, but it can sometimes create false impressions. This image of a strawberry cake is a great example of this effect. With a green tint, our brains identify the picture as being under abnormal lighting conditions, so make sure that we still see the strawberries as being red. The problem is, there's not a single red pigment in the image, and the strawberries are, in fact, gray. Even once this is pointed out, it's still almost impossible to see the true color palette that's present, and might even require you to cover most of the screen to see a small part of one of the fruits, and then you'll finally see what's truly there. Number 9. Checker Shadow this is called the checker shadow illusion, and the setup is simple to understand. There's a checkerboard, just like the one you'd play chess on, and a green cylinder that's been placed on it, and has cast a shadow over the playing area. There are two squares of particular interest, one marked A and one marked B. The question is, which one of these squares is the darkest? This illusion demonstrates an effect called lightness constancy, which is a vital ability for our brains to be able to identify objects and edges in the world. It's what allows us to differentiate between dimly lit surfaces and well-lit dark surfaces, for example, and is why we can so easily move between light and dark places and still be able to see what we're doing. Back to the image, and you, like most people, probably said that A was the darker square. The actual answer is, though, that they're both the exact same shade of gray. But because you know there's a white square where B is, your brain has eliminated some of the effects of the shadow to show you how it expects things to look if the green cylinder wasn't there. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Nineo's Extinction Illusion How good are you at seeing everything in an image that's on screen? Well, most of us may think we're pretty observant. Nineo's Extinction Illusion has to make you question what else you might be missing out on. Named after the French scientist Jacques Nineau, it's a grid of interconnected gray lines. You might notice, though, at some intersections there are black dots, and when you look around the image, the dots will begin to appear and disappear. Rather than your brain falsely showing you these dots, the reality is far more confusing. There are, in fact, 12 black dots on the image at all times, but hardly anyone is able to see them all at once. The reason for this is down to the colors that have been used. If you look at one of the black dots closely, you'll see that it's surrounded by a white line. While our vision may be very effective, there's no denying that there's more clarity and focus on what we're directly looking at than there is on our peripheral vision. This is because of the orientation of all the structures within our eyes. It means that the color of the dots in our periphery blends a bit to become more gray, and our brains do the rest of the work and make them the same color of gray as the lines, so that they disappear. Number 7. Troxler's effect. Our brains take in huge amounts of data from our senses at any one time, and there's simply way too much to process. They therefore have to prioritize information that enable us to live our lives, and will simply ignore anything that's deemed to be irrelevant. That's why you'll always be aware if there's danger nearby, because this is prioritized over everything else. But you may not notice a door knock on occasion because you're too busy concentrating on playing a video game. Troxler's effect is a great optical illusion that shows you this process in action. The static image of pastel colors looks something like from a student art exhibit, but wait until you see what happens the longer you stare at it. If you focus on the center, you'll notice that the colors will begin to fade even more, and for some people, the entire image will vanish altogether, leaving just a white screen in its place. This happens because the stimulus of the image isn't changing at all, and your brain has deemed other sensory inputs to be much more important to code. 
If only it worked with all images we have to look at. Number 6. Color Contrast Illusion Here's an image of a set of balls that are on a red and green striped background. There's a lot of bright color going on here, but the question is, what color are the balls? While you're probably sure that some might have a blue tint, some have a red tint, and some have a green tint, the truth is, they're all exactly the same color as each other. The only difference is that some have the continuation of the blue background lines across them, some have the red lines, and some have the green lines, and the color of the line that crosses them is the one that you're seeing the whole ball to be. Known as the Munker White illusion, it's an example of how color contrast can trick the brain into seeing things that aren't there. Because the colored line in front of the balls is creating a contrast in comparison to everything else, your brain is filling in what it believes to be missing gaps and applying that color to the entire ball. Number 5. Spinning Dancer Illusion This animation is one of the most famous optical illusions, but still, the more you see it, the more confusing it becomes. Known as the Spinning Dancer, it's a clip of a female dancer doing a pirouette. But which direction is she spinning? Clockwise or counterclockwise? People's perception is split down the middle on this, and half of those watching will give one answer while the other half will give the other. Some might even see her suddenly changing direction and back again. This illusion is caused by the lack of depth in the image. If you were at the ballet, there'd be no doubt of the direction a dancer was turning, because you're seeing them in three dimensions, and our brains are more than capable of performing the calculations needed to understand this, even when people are moving quickly. This animation, however, is on a 2D plane, so the visual cues associated with depth are not available to us. When this happens, the brain simply does the best job it can with the information at hand. To make things even stranger, if you have a mirror at hand, put it vertically to one side of the image. You would, of course, expect the reflected image to be spinning in the opposite direction to the original, but this isn't necessarily the case, and most people will see both of them turning in the same way. Number 4. The Ambassadors Optical illusions are by no means a new phenomenon, and people have been experimenting with them for hundreds and thousands of years. Even famous artists used to hide them in their paintings, and one of the most famous, although hardly subtle, examples is a painting called The Ambassadors that was painted by Hans Holbein the Younger during the Tudor period. It's a double portrait of two ambassadors in London at the time, along with a number of still-life objects, but the thing that stands out the most is the strange object towards the base of the painting. It makes no sense why it's there, until you look at it from either high on the right side or low on the left. It's a technique known as anamorphic perspective, and requires an observer to be looking at it from a precise angle to see the true image, which in this case is a human skill. It's thought that this painting was actually designed to be hung in a spiral stairwell, and would have been clearly seen if you were climbing up or down the stairs. Number 3. The Self-Healing Grid Our brains like order and precision and the vast majority of our computational power is dedicated to taking fragments of information from around us and combining them all to make sense. This is crucial to our understanding of the world and is why we're able to function to the level that we do. But there are some scenarios where this ability starts to deceive us. This image is known for the self-healing grid experiment, and as you'll see, at the center is a grid just like any other. And as you get to the edges, the lines are broken and it's completely disjointed. Now, focus on the center of the image and see what happens. Slowly, the broken parts will begin to fix themselves, and soon you'll be looking at a fully formed grid until you look away. If our brains so readily do this with images like this one, it makes you wonder how else we're being tricked by ourselves. Number 2. The Herring Illusion First discovered by the German scientist Ewald Herring in 1861, the herring illusion shows how we struggle to correctly see objects when something unusual is happening in the background. The classic example, as herring designed it, is this image with radial lines emanating from a dot in the center and two vertical lines crossing over them. Do you believe the vertical lines are straight, or are they curved or bowed in some way? Most people see a curve in them, when they are, of course, perfectly straight. The theory behind why this happens, however, hints at one of the cleverest things that our brains try to do. When we look at an image, what we're really doing is looking back in time, even if it's just by a small fraction of a second. Because it takes a moment for light to reach our eyes and our brains to interpret it, the radial lines are tricking our brains to think that we're moving forward. But what use is information from the past if we need to make a decision? What our brains therefore do is extrapolate the information that's coming in, predict what changes will have happened by the time we're processing and observing it, and altering the image in a corresponding way. 
If the vertical lines are fixed and the radial ones imply we're moving forwards, then within a few nanoseconds between us seeing the light and processing it, we will have moved forward slightly and the straight lines would now appear curved. Number 1. The McCullough Effect This optical illusion comes with a health warning. While it's perfectly safe to look at and do for a minute or two, if you do it for any longer, the effects it causes can stay with you for hours, days, or even months. It's known as the McCullough Effect, and the vivid color contrasts can reset the way that your eyes and brain interpret color. By presenting alternate screens of red with horizontal lines and green with vertical lines, something happens within the visual center that creates permanency to the colors. And even once they're gone, you'll still see residual reds and greens if you look at black and white stripes. In some cases, the effect is so pronounced that you'll see the colors as most things you look at. And also, when you shut your eyes, but surprisingly, since being discovered in 1965, there's still no consensus on why this happens. In testing, after looking at the alternating screens for several hours, some participants have reported the effects lasting for three or four months before dissipating, which makes this one of the most confusing and by far the longest lasting optical illusion of all. Don't worry if it's lasting a long time for you, it will eventually go away. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.